Okay, I will show you an example for self-referencing many-to-many between the user, stable, and self. So a user can have many followers at the same time. It can be follow the user can be followed by many users. So I will start by creating uh, the conjunction table as a model. So users underscore followers dot model dot JavaScript. So this will look very similar to the users types. So I'll just copy and paste it, and I will change the name. So the class name from user types to user followers. I will select all of them and rename to user followers. And the name I will change it. The model name I will change it to user followers. And now inside our index to JavaScript, you need first thing you need to import it. So make sure it's the same name. Okay. So you need to import it. And in the relationship, in the defined relations, I can just start here. I will use the belongs to many. So I will need to specify the table, the conjunction table, the foreign key and the other key. And I need to specify an alias since I'm referencing the same table. So it will look something like this. The users belongs to many users. through the user followers which we just created this one the foreign key is follower id the other key is following id as followers and the other part is almost the same but the foreign key is and the other key is swapped so as you can see and the, the alias is also different so my idea was the following id is following this user that has the follower id this is my main idea maybe with an example it will like will appear well it will be more uh, understandable but before that i won't console log it it's hard to read i'll just save it as a json so i'll put so i will include the right file sync from the fs module and i'll just before the console log i'll just write this users to json file and just add this result from the stringify function okay so and i will put false to true so node like this Okay, let me show you the schema now. One second. Okay. So we have the users followers, follower ID, following ID. So let me just put some fake data here. I have some SQL inserts that I can do. So insert into users these values and something to note that the last one have this as a follow as supervisor ID. So Paul is supervisor for this one, the name, this user. And for the users followers relation, I will put this. So as you can see that the user of ID one and three, the users of ID one and three are following each other and in case of four it's only one-sided so yes i can just run it i'll show it an example uh, when we retrieve these so let me go to vs code now inside our supervisor outside our uh, include the array in the find all i just need to add the two aliases so i'll start with the followers so let's get the followers for each user and let's put false to false here so we won't override everything node okay so we have this result here which is nice so okay the user of id1 follows or has a followers sorry so the people who follows this user is in this array which at the moment only this one 
the user of ID 3. So as I said, the following ID is following this one, the follower ID. So maybe it's a little bit confusing, but this is the way I thought about it, the simplest way. And the user of ID 3, so I forget this employees. This is comes from this. So this is a so this user is a supervisor, but we don't care about that. The followers. So the 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 user of ID one is following this one, this user. So that's why it's here, which is good. Means they both are following each other. And if you go to user of ID four, which is this one, so the user of ID one is following him as well. That's why he will appear here. And now let's get the following. Okay. So the user of ID one has the user of ID three follows him, and at the same time he is following the user of ID three. So he's following this one and also four. Yes, because if you remember when we went to the user of ID four, it has a followers of ID one. So the user of ID one follows him. And so he will appear in the following array. Okay. So, and it's the same thing the user of ID three, the following array will have this one user ID one so I'll I will keep this user to JSON in the repository and with the SQL inserts so maybe you can make sense of it if you didn't understand this and I believe that's it